On one of my videos that dealt with showing and hiding objects in your Adobe Captivate project, Zizu wrote, how about if I'm using a picture as a button and I need to show the text when user clicks this, I tried to make a button as show, but did not work. Can you help me please? I'm not entirely sure I understand the uh, exact situation, Zizu, but I will do my best to help. So on this slide here, I've created several objects. At the lowest layer, I've got an image of the city of Abu Dhabi. Above that, I have this smart shape, which is semi-transparent, dark gray with white text, describing uh, the information about the city of Abu Dhabi. And right here, I have some instructions to press anywhere on the image to learn more. By default, all images or objects are visible in output. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the description to allow learners to see the entire view of the city. Then, of course, they can tap anywhere on the city to get that description. So the first thing to do is to set the object, which is the description here, to be not visible in output. And you just click on this little eyeball next to the label in your properties inspector. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to select the image, which is our background here, and select use as a button. Now this will add the ability to assign actions to that image that's now used as a button. So we can go to the actions tab here. The default action is always go to next slide, but we're going to change that. We're going to change that to the show action. And then we simply need to select the object that we wish to show. In this case, the description object here. Now I'm going to uncheck continue playing the project because I want the, the project to remain paused while the learner reads this description and, and so they can have time to absorb all that before clicking next. Another thing I like to do is check the hand cursor and disable the click sound for any interactive objects like images used as buttons. So this is pretty much good to go here. Let's do a preview in HTML5 in browser. So here we go, and you can see that this slide is now paused because, of course, this button has a pause associated with it, as all buttons do in, in Adobe Captivate. I'm going to follow the directions here, press anywhere on the image to learn more. So I can click the image, and of course, then the description shows up. But unfortunately, this, this uh, instruction is still here, and I'll show you an alternate way to achieve the same thing, but also get rid of the instruction once you've clicked the image in the background here. So I'm just gonna close my browser. Instead of using a single action on success of clicking the image, if you need to run two or more actions, you're going to need to use an advanced action. So in this case here, I'm gonna change this to execute advanced actions. We don't have any so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the advanced actions icon. So I'm going to give this an action name. We'll call this show description. And we're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is like before, we're going to show description. We also want to hide that instruction. So we can use a similar command called hide to hide the instructions object here. So now I have two actions that will run each time I press that item there. So let's save that as an action, click OK, and click Close. And you'll see now Execute Advanced Action, Show Description is selected. If this was not your first advanced action, you might have to select it from this drop-down selector here but otherwise this should work fine. So let's preview this now in HTML5 in browser. Okay, so now we have pretty much the same thing as before, but this time when we click on the image of the city, the instructions go away and the description of the city appears. Of course, once you've published your project, don't forget you can send it out to your stakeholders and subject matter experts using Review My eLearning. You can capture feedback from multiple reviewers and see it all in the same place. Reviewers can even see each other's comments, and you know exactly what slide in your course that feedback is for. 
Try out Review My eLearning for free by using the link in the description of this video so they know I sent you. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.